In this video, you're going to learn how to call leads from a lead list or generic lead provider. You're going to learn how to instantly connect with every lead that you talk to and ask them three committing questions that will automatically attract them to you and what you're selling. Now, let's first understand that calling leads from a lead list is not cold calling. A cold call is calling someone that you've never met and don't know about or who has not responded to any information requested anything from your website or other ads. Now, if you're hesitant about calling your leads, remember, you're calling back someone who's asked you to call them. It would be out of integrity not to call them back. Remember, the leads you get from a lead provider are from people who are out looking to make a change. Otherwise, they wouldn't have responded to the ad in the first place. So let's first take a look at how the average salesperson who used the traditional selling techniques calls a lead. You want to know something funny? I actually copied this script almost word for word off of one of the old sales gurus websites just to show you how awful this stuff is out there. So let's go look at this script here. For this example, let's say that you sell coaching services or something like that, just as an example. Salesperson say, hi, is this Annie? Uh, Annie, this is John Smith with XYZ Company. How are you doing today? Okay, great. Um, hey, do you have two minutes to talk right now? A lot of times the prospect will say, well, who is this? Salesperson says, okay, well, I saw you responded to an ad yesterday about getting a coach to help you close more deals in business, and I've been asked to personally call you to show how we can help you get more deals in your company. When works best for you for me to call you back? Uh, later today or I can call you tomorrow? See, here you're starting to chase him already and you look like a what? Just another salesperson trying to sell them something. Prospect will usually say, well, why don't you just give me a call tomorrow? Why do they say that? Probably just to get rid of you. Salesperson says, okay, great. Uh, Ma'am, let me, let me ask you a question real quick though. What's two problems you're having right now that's costing you deals and money? Prospect, well, you know, I'm actually doing really good right now in my business. What was this all about anyways? Salesperson says, well, I'm calling you because with our coaching services, we can help you close more deals and help you in your business needs. In fact, we've been rated the number one coaching service in the country three years in a row by our clients. And a lot of times a prospect will cut in, well, you know, I'm really busy right now. Can you just call me back tomorrow? Salesperson, okay, well, let me ask you again. What, what are the two biggest problems that you're having right now that's costing you deals and money that if I could fix for you, that you would take me more serious and spend a few minutes with me right now? Salesperson keeps pushing for the prospect to tell them two problems. Sales pressure is mounting now. Prospect, look, buddy, I don't really have that many problems. I, I'm not that interested. Salesperson, well then why did you respond to the ad? I mean, I, I've got a solution that will help you with your prospects and get your company so many deals that you could triple your sales this next month. When could you give me 10 minutes where I could show you how this will work for your company? Prospect, you know, uh, I don't know, maybe next week or something, just to shrug you off and get you away. Salesperson, okay, I, you know, I could do Thursday at two or, or Friday at one using a trial close or really that every salesperson uses and your prospects feel that you're trying to do what? Close them for an appointment. Prospects say, yeah, sure, I can do Friday at one. Salesperson, okay, great. I know that you're going to be very excited about what we're doing here and I'm gonna show you how to do this on Friday. I'm so excited. Uh, talk to you, I'll talk to you then. Salesperson calls the next Friday at one. Ring, 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 ring voicemail, leaves message, prospect never calls them back. Does that ever happen to you when you're calling your prospects, you leave a message and they never call you back when you leave that message? Now compare what the seven figure salesperson asks when he calls his leads. Let's look at the script. Hi Jane, uh, this is John Smith. I'm with uh, XY coaching company and it it looks like you responded to an ad yesterday about possibly having a coaching system to help you in your business. Is this an appropriate time? Here you want to give them the option. You see, average salesperson don't give options. They just go into a sales pitch. And the prospect is, well, they're used to a sales pitch. 
you wouldn't want to talk to them anyway right now if they're in the middle of their kid's soccer game, would you? Now, if it's not a good time, you can give them your number and say something like this. Now, uh, Mrs. Jones, if you don't mind me asking you, when, when are you planning on calling me back just to see if I'm, I'm going to be even available for you? This makes you sound like you're actually busy, like you have a lot of options. You're detached and you don't need the sale. Now, let's pretend when you ask them if this is an appropriate time, they say, yeah, this is an appropriate time. You're then going to say, well, I should probably start off by asking you, have you, have you found what you're, what you're wanting or are you still looking for a coach? And you're always going to ask because if they've already found one, you would probably want to know that up front. 99% of the time, I'm going to tell you they're going to say, yes, we're still looking for one. That's why they responded to the ad. You would then say, let's look at the script. Well, before I go into who we are and, and what we do and all that kind of boring stuff, it might be appropriate if I knew a little bit more about you and what you're possibly looking for to see if we could even help you. When you downplay yourself, when you say all that kind of boring stuff or something like that, you downplay yourself, people will automatically come to your rescue. They'll be attracted to you like a magnet. Now also, we're going to use the word possibly a lot and what you're possibly looking for to see if I can help you. We want to stay neutral in our conversations, not too excited like a typical salesperson, not negative like a Debbie Downer, but we're going to stay neutral. You then would start asking a background question. For example, what type of uh, business are you in right now? Or what type of business do you actually do, Mrs. Jones? You're going to ask a few more background questions, which we're going to learn on other videos. So here are the steps of a seven-figure call to your lead. Step number one, you're going to state who you are, very relaxed and conversationally. Step two, where you're from relaxed and conversationally. Step three, reference the ad that they respond to and remind them that they asked you to call them. You're going to be specific. Step number four, ask them if this is an appropriate time to talk. Step five, discover if they're still looking. Step six, find out their present situation and ask how you can help them. Remember, your potential customers really do have the answers. All you need are the right questions and to give them time to answer them. Thank you for watching this video about how to call your leads from a lead list or a generic lead provider. Now in the next video, you're going to learn how to effectively follow up on someone who's been sent information to get them automatically interested in what you're offering.